Hello stampers and it's the Pampered Stamper coming to you today from Chatham, Ontario, Canada. And um, I'm pretty excited about today's video because we are going to do something really, really fun. And I think it's really appropriate for COVID because I have got myself here a nice big roll of toilet paper from Costco. And if you remember just two months ago or so, actually it's probably closer to three, in March when this all started and there was a run on toilet paper and you'd go to the grocery store and the shelves were, were bare. It's crazy. It's still crazy because we're still in the middle of it and we still can't see very many people. Oh, thanks, Shelly. That's really nice. Um, and if you go to the grocery store, you're still going to have a hard time, at least in Chatham, you're going to find finding yeast and cinnamon. And there's a lot of, there's hardly any flour on the shelves. So people are loving to bake. They're finally starting to see it from my point of view that it is all about the treats and home baked is best. Um, but anyway, I am, I'm, I've got about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon left and maybe yeast for two loaves of bread. That's not enough. Um, so anyway, so this card, I am going to show you how to make some really cool stuff with toilet paper. So that's really nice. Hi, Eileen. Um, before I get started, however, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of small businesses because small businesses are really struggling these days. And the first shout out I want to give to you is to Covatus Pizza. Oliver ordered takeout last night, or actually I ordered it and Oliver picked it up and Oliver paid for it, which is, you know, awesome. And honestly, that was the best pizza. It was a chicken pizza with pesto and a balsamic glaze and chicken and goat cheese. And it was oh so good. And I had a burger, believe it or not. I never order burgers, but I don't have a barbecue here. So this burger, unless it was just because I hadn't had a burger in so long, it was amazing. So if anybody lives in Chatham, Covadas, honestly, they do an awesome Ponzerati as well. So yes, Covadas, way to go, you rock. Um, the second one is um, one of the blessings that came out of me not being able to fly to Holland is that I was at my mom and dad's, which also means I was close to Yolanda's boutique, just north of Guelph. And so I, I messaged Yolanda and yes, she was open by appointment following all proper COVID procedures. So I was able to go and see Yolanda and pick up some wonderful clothes. So it is worth the trip to Guelph. Honestly, what else are you gonna do with your time? And I bought this cute top. I don't know if you can see it, look at the sleeves. And I'm gonna stand up on the chair and then you can see my cute little gingham caprice. So anyway, thanks Yolanda. I love my outfit. I also got some amazing shoes. She's got great shoes and um, another outfit. So, and I bought no dresses, so I was very proud of myself because usually I buy dresses, I love dresses. Anyway, you guys did not come here to listen to me yammer on about food and about clothes. So we are gonna get started. I'm using this stamp set, which is called Forever Fern. And I'm using Beautiful World. I should have probably showed those to you a little bit longer, but I'll show you them again. Oh, thanks. I love the top too. It's really, really cute. It's flowy and I love the sleeves. Perfect for a menopausal woman. And uh, yeah, okay, close your eyes for a minute because I'm going to be taking the phone out of the holder. I'm gonna be flipping it. And so that can make things go really wonky and I don't want you getting dizzy, okay? So give me about five seconds, all right? Close your eyes, here we go. And flip. And now I have to turn my little thing down and now we're gonna clip it in the stand and hopefully not upset anything. Okay, sorry, you probably thought I lost you there. I'm gonna see if I can slide it up on my holder. Okay, so here we go. We're using this stamp set and we're going to use this stamp set, okay? And the paper, my goodness, you know, I am delaying, I'm building suspense. Thanks, Karen, I, I love it too. It felt really good. So um, the paper we're going to be using, let me just move a few things here, is just stunning. So this is the actual sheet of paper I'm gonna be using, but look at the other side. It's also very, very nice. I'm going to show you the rest of it. And I just love it. I forget what it's called. I built to tell you in a minute. But look at how nice. There, The necklace is from Leah Sophia. Do you remember that? Yeah, I used to love them. They went out of business or they changed their business. How is this paper just beautiful? Hello, Glenda. Hi, Lisa. 
Hi, Karen. Um, look at that. I, yeah, I could just, you know, it's a rainy day and I don't mind a bit because I love, I don't feel guilty staying inside. So this is the paper. I think that's it. I'm, I'm, there. Okay. So that's the paper. And June 3rd, you can get it. Unless you absolutely can't wait, you can get the starter kit now. All right. Now, I did learn a few things. Let me show you some of the paper that I did. So this was toilet paper. You have to remember this was toilet paper. Okay. Um, I had more. Oh, yeah. And then there's this one. Okay. And... I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. I really hope I have all my pieces because I had, I was going to show you how not to do it, but we'll wait with that. So you take your toilet paper. This is two ply toilet paper. Okay, and we're going to make four layers. So if you have three ply toilet paper, if you're fancy, then you need to adjust accordingly. So I'm going one, two, three, and I'm Dutch. So I'm not going according to the little sheets. I'm just folding it as I need it because otherwise I'll waste too much, okay? And now, I guess I could, I'll, pour, I'll tear the last one. Okay, so I have four layers, okay? Four layers of toilet paper, and then, oh, 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 I have a fan going, can you see that? Take a mister, and you are just going to mist, lightly mist your toilet paper. You do not want it soaked, okay? So I'm misting it. You can see it just kinda get a little upset about that. And now I am going to put it on an embossing folder. So open up your embossing folder, pick up your toilet paper, lay it, I want it kind of in the middle and not right to the fold because you don't want it bunching up. Okay, so there we go. We've closed our embossing folder and we're going to lay it in the big shot. Now I am going to use this plate and it's purple. You'll see that it's a purpley blue. This plate is not going to be in the new kind. Actually, you know what? I think it's sold out, so I might as well stop talking right now. You can't even get it. So if you don't have it, that's a bummer. Here we go. We're going to roll it through. And then I'm just going to do it the other way, too. Just, whoa, you hear that clunk? That's okay. I did not break my big shot. Now we're going to go back. And hi, Mary. All right, now we'll move the big shot out of the way. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? So there is the folder, and here you can see the extra toilet paper hanging off the edge, blowing in my fan. Now you do need to just put it aside and let it dry for a little while before you do anything with it. Now let me show you a finished card, okay? I'm, I'm quite happy with this card. This is a card that I made using the new um, Beautiful World bundle. And this is the, oh goodness, what's it called? The Old World Paper Embossing Folder. Okay, so maybe we should do one of those too. So here's the embossing folder, okay? Let's do the other toilet paper thing in case you join me late. So remember, four layers of two-ply toilet paper. All right? I'm amazed at the transformation of this, that this soft toilet paper with a little spritz goes through and it doesn't matter. You see how my toilet paper has a cute little flower pattern on it? That's okay. It just somehow disappears. So I've got my four layers. Then I'm gonna give it a light spritz. Remember, you're not saturating. I haven't tried it. I don't know what will happen if I saturate. You know, if you have time, you can, oh, I almost put it in the wrong folder. Oh, girl. Okay, here we go. So this one, it doesn't matter if it goes right in the middle or not. It can go anywhere. There. And then put it on the big shot. And you know what? Um, I have to say, this is not my original idea. Thank you, Yolanda. I will take the compliments. But I saw this online from Terry Pocock from the UK. And Terry does beautiful work. I will share her card and her blog afterwards so you can check her out. I love it when we can help each other online. Um, I always like it when I see more blog traffic because someone has shared what I've done. So I will share what Sherry, I mean what Terry has done so you can check it out and you know leave her a comment and tell her how awesome she is. Look at that. How cool is that? And then this side is even more bumpy so to speak. So you can choose whether you want the emboss side or the deboss side. Now, if you use a colored spray, that would be interesting too, but watch this. 
we're going to take some crumb cake and a sponge dauber, okay? If you live in Chatham and you have no sponge daubers, I have a bunch in stock. So tap, 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 and then look, you just rub it. And like technically, I should have waited till this was dry, but I'm an impatient person, so I just wanted to show you. And then if you want to do the edges afterwards, it works better when it's dry. Then you want to just go in circles around the edge and the edge will get darker than the rest, okay? But that's a wet one. I'll show it to you with this one here. That's also a new folder and it's called Tasteful Textile. I think it's gonna be a lot like our Subtles embossing folder. It's just a really cool, so look at that. How cool is that? Now, one thing that's super important to remember with this technique is that do not use a regular paper cutter. It will shred it. I was gonna show you because I had a card already. Oh yeah, here you go, here is the evidence. So let me see if I can put that on a piece of card stock so you can see the edge, okay. See how the edge is all frayed? That's what happens if you use a regular paper trimmer. So what you have to do is you have to use either a guillotine one, like this little mini Stampin' Up one, or a rotary blade, that works too. So. Um, let me show you what I mean about that. So we'll take this one and we'll slide it in and See that's just beautiful nice even cut so guillotine trimmer If you got the starter kit a while ago, you have this little baby But yeah, so for this you can also use scissors I used and if you're going to use scissors make sure you use scissors that have a nice long blade because then it goes nice and straight Like just watch. I mean we don't have to get all fancy you can use what you have and you just kind of go like this and now I can fix that and do it with you know use it with something else all right now let me see if I can find my piece of paper that I needed to finish my card I have a card all ready to go but you know how it gets when I start making cards I start losing everything so here's the card I made earlier and now let's get started with this card and hopefully my piece will will materialize I've got such a cute piece all ready to go. Ah, oh, I found it. Ha, good, 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 good. Okay, so I have a card here and it is five and a half by five and a half, all right? And now I have a really pretty piece of paper that is five and three eighths by five and three eighths. And then this is my lo lovely little piece. And it's, these are smaller embossing folders that are in the new catalog. It comes in a set of two and it, it coordinates with that paper that I just showed you. So there's this one, and then there's this one. And I actually did a little piece with that, but it has gone missing, so I won't be able to show you that. All right, so before we put this card together, I wanna play around a little bit. The colors in this paper are Pretty Peacock, Pear Pizzazz, and Just Jade, but we weren't able to get the Just Jade. We weren't able to get the new ink, the inks yet because of COVID. So I'm gonna start with a lighter color. It's always safe to start with a lighter color. I'm taking my sponge dauber, and I'm just lightly going over. Oh, you know what? I think this dauber had some brown on it. That was not good. That's okay, all is not lost. Let's see. We're just going with earth tones, greens, and, and then I'll add in some darker colors in a minute and maybe I'll decide that it looks nicer with um, just white we're about to find out but I thought it would be nice to have the flowers pop up a little bit the leaves so fairly light touch and I'm going in little circles and now I want to add some jade to these pieces oh you know what good this is my trial run because this is my, my bad one. That's good. That was a great mistake. I love it. Okay, so here's the jade and really lightly. Oh, it's actually not jade, this is peacock. Pretty peacock. And now we can see if I like that or not. Maybe we can vote on it. Don't forget to tell me where you're watching from and don't forget to share my video because if you do, I will send you an amazing tutorial on 3D cards, okay? I like to give back. So thank you to those who supported me with my video 
on the Stamparatus. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out because it's a really, really cool thing. You're going to want to know how to do those tricks with the Stamparatus. Okay, now I'm thinking that it might be too busy. Let's have a look. So let's kind of lay it on the card and play around a little bit. So I have this and then I stamped to a friend that makes me smile. So the saying is from Forever Fern and the circle, oh, thank you, Shelly. The circle is from the globe set, okay? And then I use the two inch circle punch to do that one. All right, let me see if I can find my snail, yes. So we'll put some elements together and then we'll decide what we do to finish up this card. All right, I hope that you guys have a lot of fun with your toilet paper thing. Now look at this. This is a beautiful thing, okay? Oh, Ella and Marion, how nice that you are watching from Holland. I wish I was there, but I will come as soon as I can. In the meantime, I seeded some grass today. That felt good. Okay, I'm going to lay it like that. And, all right. So that's going to go on there. Now look. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards just white. Now let's lay the other one on here. So take a good look at that. And now, this is how you play and this is how you make a card. Oh, that's kind of nice too, isn't it? Oh, I like it sponged. Okay, people, I'm waiting for you guys to weigh in with your opinion. Do you like it with the sponged background or do you like it with the clean white background? Now, that's the white. And now we have to decide, I wanted to add some ribbon. So this is the Just Jade ribbon. See how pretty that is with the textile? Let me, let me get a little closer for you. See how pretty that is? Yeah. Hello, Monique. Oh, Brilla. I love Brilla. That has a very special significance to me. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. And then there's this pretty, pretty ribbon that goes with that whole... Let me... Let me I'm talking to myself. This is really pretty as well. So we have to decide on ribbon. We have to decide whether we want the sponged or not. And that ribbon is called Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Combo Pack. So it comes with that pretty gingham. It comes with this delightful linen-y white. Look at this. It's just lovely. But you see, it's whiter than my toilet paper. That's kind of funny, isn't it? And then it comes with this twine with a little silver in it just beautiful okay so I'm getting some votes for sponged and I think I'm going to go with sponged I happen to agree with you okay so but the problem with the sponged I'm going to have to sponge another one is that this one's too short because I had to trim it okay so we're going to take this and we're going to always check your daubers first see so that was the brown one I have to get that out of the way this one was my peacock one and this one is the green okay so let's get this baby sponged so daubers with very light maybe oh I don't know okay we'll stick with my original plan it's fun to play isn't it yeah I have to admit I was in a little bit of a funk the other day you know every once in a while that happens it doesn't happen to me very often but Sometimes you just question everything that you're doing and you're wondering if you're spending, are you using your time wisely? Are you um, being a good business person? Are you focused too much on the feel goods and not enough on what you really need to be doing? And then, and then all of a sudden things go well and you go, oh, okay, good. Everything is right with the world again. I probably didn't spend enough time praying about it. You know, sometimes you... Praying goes really well, and sometimes when you pray, you feel like you're talking to the ceiling. And so, yeah, some, I, I think that when I get into a funk, it's really God saying, you know what, talk to me. Talk to me. So, thank you for your words of encouragement. I appreciate that. It's amazing how blue this is on this paper, the peacock. But I suppose peacock is a blue. I don't know, sometimes it looks, the paper looks a little bit more greeny, I thought. So I just love the way this toilet paper looks. It has a really cool feel to it. I think this could be my new favorite technique for a little while. So thank you so much for Terry for sharing it. 
Now, the thing you need to know about techniques is that there's really nothing, very little new under the sun. It's just that sometimes we rediscover things again. And that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take this piece, and I don't really want to put regular... Well, I guess I could. It's feeling pretty dry. Okay, we'll do regular. If it's a little bit damp yet... Oh, no, you know what? It's not a good idea to put snail. It, it starts to take the, the paper starts coming apart again. We don't want to do that. So we're going to use, I thought I should have gone with my gut feeling, the white ribbon with the green first green ribbon on top. Oh, I'll try that. I'm not in a funk with creativity, not at all. I was in a funk with business decisions and how to run my business and how, you know, you can't always give everything away, but I'm not, I'm just not, for some things, I, I don't sell well. I just like to share a lot, but... Yeah, anyway, that's that. No, my creativity is actually really, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I'm tapping that down. And now, let's have a look. So if we take the white, I'm just going to play around a little bit more. I don't want a bow on this, though. There's that. No, I don't like that. You could, well, I'll show it to you, but I don't think so. It's too white. Now I've got the jade. Well, that is quite lovely, but it really makes my toilet paper look beige, and I don't like that idea. Okay, I'm going to go with the gingham. I absolutely love gingham, and I'm just going to tuck it around the edges every time. I, I swear, oh, there they are, my ribbon scissors. They just kind of hide. They tuck underneath of something, so there we go, and I'm just going to lay this on here to see how high I want that ribbon to go. I don't know if I want it right in the middle. Well, maybe I do. Okay. All right. So, go with the solid green. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's have a look. Solid green. All right. We'll cut it and see. Okay. Let's have a look. The solid green. Oh, yeah. The solid green is nice. The solid green is nice, Caroline. All right, so solid green is here, and there. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think it was Barbara that just mentioned it. I find that um, when you can't sleep, that is, yeah, I think, I think the solid, yes. When you can't sleep, that's also God saying, you know what? Someone is needing prayer right now. I need you to talk to me. So when you can't sleep, just think about it as an invitation that God wants you to talk to him. And sometimes, you know, we spend too much time talking and we don't listen. So we need to listen. And then when you talk about that, you think, well, that's crazy. I mean, whoever hears God talk out loud? Not me. No. But he does whisper to your soul. And sometimes when we just reflect, then we can hear our own thoughts. And that's, that's God. We were created in his image. Okay, so here I have the ribbon. And I'm putting tape all the way around, all four edges and a bit in the middle. And now we're going to put it on the card, okay? And remember, we've just got a wee little edge all the way around, like so, okay? And now we're going to take this beauty and we're going to pop it up. And remember, you want to straddle the ribbon. So I've got it like this, flip it over, and I'm going to put... Oh, is the hot card too far away? Okay, just wait a second and I will lift the card up. See, when I when I video, I have to have the camera up high enough so that there's room for my hands to do the work. Yeah, I like that. That's why we have two ears and one mouth. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to listen way more than we talk. That's true. Okay, so I am going to... Now I have to decide on the placement. I think I'm going to do it like this. There. How nice is that? Now, I'm wondering. I'm going to just make a bow. It might be too much. I'm not sure. But we're going to do it. So, a loop. And a loop. Oh, this ribbon is so nice. Okay, you like the placement. It's a little too low on the table. Yeah, I will. I will. I'm going to move it up in just a second. I'm just making my bow. I'm struggling a little. My hands are a little sticky. You know, bows are super important. You need to have the, the middle 
tied nice and tight. You want your edges loopy enough. If you put your fingers in them like this, that fluffs them up nicely. Yeah. Well, sometimes you can readjust your bow after it's on the card. I'm not so happy with it. Oh, that is pretty cute though. Yeah. Okay. So always tie, always cut your bow on an edge. Okay. The, the ribbon likes that. I'm just going to put my fingers inside. Sorry that you have to watch this. There's a Dutch word for it. It's called friemeling. It's kind of when you're fussing around a little bit. See, there. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I like that. Okay, glue dot, and I promise I will lift the card up. There we go. No bow, says Patty. Well, there. What do you think? Bow or no bow? I'm, gonna, I'm going to... Um, just let this card sit for a little while and I'm going to move my filthy pattern paper. Oh, I want to show you something else. Okay, so there's the card. Thanks, Nancy. I'm going to show you the other card as well. Here we go. And let's see. We have this piece now. That's the Parisian folder and I'm just going to grab my guillotine for a minute and slide it through. Oh, I guess it won't slide through if you have the blade down. Okay, so there we go. Now let's have a look. We're going to do a little sponging again. So let's have a look. See. That's the green, we don't want green, we want crumb cake. All right, here's crumb cake. So, just look and see what happens. This is really nice for a vintage look. See, and this one is dry, so it just goes a lot better. It's important to kind of go down, land lightly like a butterfly with your sponge, and then you can add more pressure, okay? Because if you land hard, like like a, if you have a hard landing on your paper, then you're going to get blobs, and you don't want blobs. So there's definitely a little bit of finesse to it, and you have to use a gentle touch because it's toilet paper. And so don't use a regular paper trimmer, and don't use a tape runner. Use liquid glue. How pretty is that? Now, if you want your edges to be a little darker, then go like this along the bottom. And the edges are actually, that's your most vulnerable spot on this card because that's where all the layers are coming together. But if you want your edges to be a little darker, you can just, there, okay. It does help if you trim it with, a, with a, the guillotine, you'll get a stronger edge. So, um, yeah. It is really amazing. So yeah, four layers of two-ply toilet paper will get you this look. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is the paper that I used on, on the first card, and it's that world paper. But I'm not going to go through all that again. Tomorrow I will see you again, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh yes, I do know what I'm doing. I'm doing collage stamping with the best with the well-dressed set, because some people bought that set. I still have a few kits available if you want me to mail one to you. Um, but we'll talk about that tomorrow, okay? Thanks for joining me. Be sure to share. Um, someone couldn't see. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm not sure what you didn't see. Um, I'll hold the cards up again. But don't worry. I am I am going to um, post pictures of these cards on my page, okay? I always do that, and I'll probably blog about them too. So be sure to check out my blog and share because blogging is, oh, it's a lot of work. And it feels so nice when people comment and when people actually see what you do. So yeah, just a little insight into my heart. Thank you guys, have a super day, bye.